coming up, we'll have an update on the impeachment inquiry. Plus, a multicultural event is happening in town. We'll have all, that, all this and more on today's ASU TV news. From the School of Media and Journalism, from the campus of Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, this is ASU TV News. Hello and welcome to the December 4th edition of ASU TV News. I'm Jessica Ladd. The House Judiciary Committee is, hosti is holding its first public impeachment hearing today. Four con constitutional law experts will lay the groundwork for an impeachment vote defining key phrases like obstruction of justice and high crimes and misdemeanors. The Judiciary Committee is expected to draft and consider articles of impeachment in the next several days. The hearing comes a day after the House Intelligence Committee released its report. It makes the case that President Donald Trump endangered national security by asking Ukraine to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his family. If you've been waiting to get your flu shot, don't wait much longer. The flu has hit Jonesboro. The contagious virus spreads quickly this time of year. Brooke Buckner tells us what to expect from the flu and the precautions you should take to help prevent it. Molly Grace Williams are suffering with the flu and flu-like symptoms during this holiday season. I haven't been able to do as many of my assignments over the break as how I wanted to, so I'm kind of having to catch up. The biggest disadvantage to students is that flu season usually occurs during final exam weeks. I felt terrible for a very long time, and I still don't feel like absolutely perfect. Dr. Joe Stallings with UAMS Family Medical Center advises children and even adults to stay home if they are experiencing flu symptoms. When you have it, you'll know you have it. You have fever, you have aching, blowing nose, you know, just not feeling good at all. In addition to washing your hands constantly, there are more precautions to take to prevent catching a bad case of the flu. Getting a flu shot each year is one of the best ways to prevent yourself from catching the flu. All it takes is you to fill out the screening checklist and answer these four questions. We usually give the shot, start giving the shots in October and run it all the way through January. The flu shot is not 100% effective, but if you do happen to catch the flu, the symptoms will not be as bad. Get your flu shot <laughs> and uh, take care of yourself. I know it's college, but it's definitely important. Brooke Buckner, ASU TV News. A-State freshman Mary Beth Bird performed Lose You to Love Me by Selena Gomez on The Voice Monday. Bird was in the bottom three contestants. Last night, she received a second chance and advanced to the semifinals by singing You Are the Reason by Liana Lewis. She will perform again Monday night. Good luck, Mary Beth. And if you're looking for a fun event to do here in Jonesboro, or if you just want to learn more about different cultures, this event might be just the thing for you. Anna Baccaro has the details. Dance classes not only prove to be good for health, but also to make connections and getting to know more about different cultures. It's such a joy to come to class um, and meet um, new dance partners and um, I like learning the different styles of dance that the instructor teach. Teach about uh, 10 different styles, uh, cha-cha, salsa, bachata, merengue, tango, mambo, and others. The students who come to this class have become more confident in themselves. They also get the chance to meet with new people and also to learn different dances for different cultures. Also, not only has this been like a really positive influence in my life i have um also lost weight <laughs> coming to class so that's like a changer game changer for me so if you're looking for an event to do a few days and thursday night you can come here to studio floor two in downtown Jonesboro, where they offer diverse dance classes from 7 to 8 p.m i'm anna Barker, reporting for asu tv news it's been a chilly morning with temperatures in the 40s will this continue into the rest of your week stick around we'll have your five-day forecast after this break The past few days have been sunny and that pattern is looking to continue today. The high will be 60 and the low will be 39. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain. The high will be 60. Friday we will have scattered showers and a low of 39. Make sure to grab your umbrella before you head out the door. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a low in the 40s. Sunday we will, um, it will be cloudy and there will be a 20% chance of rain. Expect showers on Monday as well. The low will be 37. 
While granite skaters across southern New Hampshire had to dig out from two days of snow this week, residents in New Ipswich might have faced the toughest task after about three feet of snow fell on the town. Tim, Cal Tim Callery reports. It looks like. Trader Joe's announced on Monday some of its sushi products may have been contaminated with listeria. The items in question all come in plastic trays with clear lids. Among the ready-to-eat items affected by this recall, California rolls, shrimp spring rolls, and salmon polk cake bowls. The problem was discovered during an inspection at a Massachusetts facility. Listeria is a bacteria that causes high fever, nausea, and abdominal pain. No related illnesses have been reported, but company officials say anyone who purchased these items should return them. Among the states affected by this recall, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. More information can be found on the FDA's website. And when we come back, we'll tell you more on why a judge has ordered the state of Tennessee to pay more than $46,000, followed by a lovely story of a student who had to decide between her dream of helping people, her dream or helping people, all this after the break. A judge has ordered the state of Tennessee to pay more than $46,000 in legal fees to a white nationalist group. The group has hosted its annual conference at the same state facility for years and changed a new rule last year that required it to pay for law enforcement and related damage. Its founders sued the Department of Environment and Conservation Director in September, arguing it was, quote, unconstitutional security fee. A judge sided with the group later this year, citing First Amendment rights. And a Howard University volleyball player has recently faced, was recently faced with a big decision to play, for a, play in one of her last big tournaments or miss it to make a potentially life-saving stem cell decision. As Carl Willis reports, the student athlete hopes her choice to try and save a life will lead to change. Between volleyball Thank you for joining us. This has been our last newscast of the fall semester. We hope you all have great holidays. Make sure to follow us on our Twitter page at ASU TV News and our Facebook, and our Facebook page, ASU TV News. Thank you and have a great day.